Well, so the world is pretty much on fire right now. So is now the absolute worst time to become a Unity game developer? Or actually the best time? Let me know what you think down in the comments section right below those like and subscribe buttons. But personally, I think right now is the perfect time to make games in the Unity game engine. And today, I'm gonna to tell you why. Now, I've been planning on making this video well before the whole current coronavirus situation and all these quarantine and shelter in place regulations have been put in place, but I think this is a kind of an important point to bring up because obviously we're all affected by it and now a lot of us have a lot more free time to spend kind of on whatever while we are basically stuck at home. So the first reason you should become a Unity game developer right now is because we have much more free time to allow us to you know, build our skills as a game developer. Of course, learning how to make games and actually making a game can take quite a while. So having a little bit more free time where you don't have to drive into work and you know commute back and everything like that. And of course, you know doing different activities on the weekends. Now that we're kind of forced to stay inside a little bit more, why not make the most of it and you know learn a new skill like game development or if you already have been developing games maybe start learning some new skills within game development or just kind of focus on building your existing skill base and of course now is a great time to make games because of course because people are staying inside a lot of people are going to be playing more games but just be aware that people might be a little bit more cautious with their money right now. So I think all that really means is that now is a good time to start building an audience. Maybe people are more likely to try some weird, unique ideas of crazy games that you have. And you can kind of get them in the door with that for free and kind of start building up your audience. And then maybe the time we start getting back to kind of a normal situation, then you could release a bigger, more fully featured game and you already have kind of an existing audience of people to sell it to. So while that last reason kind of applied more generally towards game development, the next four reasons that I'm gonna bring up are specific to the Unity game engine and why I think you should be focusing on building games within the Unity game engine right now. So the first of those reasons is because the Unity game engine is used more widely than ever before. Now, I think it's really cool that tons and tons of games are being developed on the Unity game engine every single day. Now, the Unity game engine has traditionally uh, kind of catered more towards smaller teams, independent developers, things of that nature. But we are starting to see larger and more ambitious games being created with Unity. And I think Unity is doing a really good job at creating a bunch of new features that can be really be utilized by, you know, higher end games. And so because it's being much more widely used, and if you're experienced within the Unity game engine, that's certainly going to give you a leg up for getting a job within the games industry. Now, I know that during the times right now, people might not be willing to hire, but you know, if you use this time to actually kind of build your skills up, when we kind of go back to these day-to-day -day lives and people are starting to look to hire again, you know, you can be the first in line with all your skills ready to go. And so kind of related to that, the next reason is because I think there's a whole lot of really cool new features coming to the Unity game engine. And now is a great time to take advantage of your extra time to kind of learn about some of these and become fluent with them. So of course, Unity Dots and ECS are things that I've been talking a lot about on this channel. And I really do believe that some form of Dots and ECS are gonna be kind of the standard way to make games over the next few years. So it's really important to start kind of getting familiar with these things now so that as the demand for developers who know how to use dots and ECS increases, you'll be there right away and should be able to land a job no problem. So the next reason I just like to talk about is the Unity development community as a whole. So of course, you know, as the Unity game engine gets more and more popular and more and more people are using it, obviously the community of developers is gonna grow. And the development community within Unity is one of the most supportive communities I've ever been a part of, for sure. And you'll know this pretty well if you've ever ran into a problem with Unity and you just Google it. You know, there's like 10 other people who have had this same problem and a bunch of people are there to answer it and give you a bunch of detail about why, you know, this is the way that it is. And everyone is extremely helpful and supportive. And especially on the Unity forums. The Unity forums is something that I'm starting to get a little bit more involved in. Um, just kind of like asking some questions there and helping other people with some of the issues that they're running into. So I'll give you a quick example. A couple weeks ago, I was kind of doing some experimentation with the new Unity physics systems. And I was running into this weird issue where basically when I just had like a sphere rolling across a plane, I noticed that on the like subdivisions of the plane, 
it would actually like bounce off the subdivision and just kind of launch. I'm like, what the heck is happening? This shouldn't be happening like that. So I ended up um, posting my issue on the forum with like a little video of the situation happening and someone was there pretty much immediately and it was just kind of like helping me walk through things and um, you know, had me try a couple different things. He wasn't able to actually figure out what was going on, but someone else popped in a few days later and linked me to a bunch of documentation where it explained, you know, why this actually was happening. And it was just extremely helpful for me to get a better understanding of the whole situation. So I'm really happy that the Unity Forums exist. And if you're not already interacting on there, I highly re recommend going on there. And of course, you can't bring up the Unity Dev community without talking about the Unity Asset Store. So the Unity Asset Store is amazing. There's tons of resources. Um, of course for like art and 3D models, animations, um, even a bunch of programming tools that just help make your development a whole lot easier. And so again, as more and more people use the Unity game engine, more people are going to be creating things for the Unity Asset Store. So there's just like an ever growing list of things that you can use. And then my fifth and final reason why I think that you should become a Unity game developer right now is because the Unity game engine, it's pretty easy to learn. I wouldn't say that it's hard to master, but that being said, there's niches that you can go deep into within the Unity game engine and really specialize and make yourself stand out. So you can go from pretty much no game development experience at all to moving things around on the screen within an hour and even having a simple little game within just a few hours. And of course, there are tons of great resources online to help you learn how to develop games within the Unity game engine. Of course, on my YouTube channel, I have plenty of videos showing you how to do just that. And Unity has a bunch of resources of their own one of them being this Unity Learn platform. And because of the current situation that we're experiencing right now, uh, Unity Learn is completely free to everyone. So definitely go check that out. I'll leave a link down in the description where you can um, actually go to Unity Learn and kind of check out some of the resources that they have on there. And on that Unity Learn platform, it's more than just beginner resources. There's a whole bunch of intermediate and advanced topics to really kind of help you specialize in something in game development. But anyways, those are my top five reasons why I think you should become a game developer right now. I think we're in a really unique situation um, where of course there's a bunch of craziness going on in the world and it's really unfortunate and I hope you're all doing well um, and not really affected by any of that. But I do also think that this gives us a good opportunity to start learning some new skills and um, making the existing skills that we have much better and stronger. So again, let me know if you have any thoughts or concerns about becoming a Unity game developer right now down in the comment section below. But anyways, I'm gonna wrap this video up. So of course, if you enjoyed it and you found it helpful, make sure you hit that like button. Also feel free to subscribe to the channel for lots more videos talking about the Unity game engine. And if you do have any other questions for me or suggestions for future videos, you can leave those in the comment section below as well. But I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one.